Hi boys and girls. Well, I wonder if you know who I am today. You'll be able to remember that we talked about this man. Can you remember his name? Prince Charles. And I told you that Prince Charles married a lady called Diana. And it was very sad because Diana died a long time ago. But Prince Charles and Diana had two children. There was Prince William, who helped us yesterday. And we checked his handwriting, didn't we? But there was Prince William and his mother was call, is called Prince Harry. And I'm Prince Harry today. And Prince Harry married a lady called Meghan Markle. And you might recognise them, you might have seen them on the television. So there's Prince Harry there, and that is his wife, Meghan Markle. So we've talked about the Queen and her husband, Prince Philip, and then we've talked about one of their children, Prince Charles, and then Prince Charles and Diana had two children called Prince William, and here is Prince Harry. Shall we see if Prince Harry is better than Prince William with his handwriting? Right, let's have a little look. Today we are going to practice oh, oh, down the long leg. Down the long leg. Nice, easy one, that one. Down the long leg. And then we're going to practice for slither down the snake. So we're going to practice this one again. Watching carefully, slither down the snake. Make sure you get it the right way around. Slither down the snake. And once more, slither down the snake. I wonder if you can think of a word that begins with O and a word that begins with S. You can practice your handwriting today. Do you think... Um, do you think Prince Harry was good with his handwriting? I think we should give him a thumbs up. Well done to Prince Harry. Right, let's see what we're going to do today. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> now then, we're going to have another rhyming story. We've had two rhyming stories already. So today, it is Posy the Pig. Posy the Pig. So let's find out what Posy the pig gets up to. And as I am reading this, I would like you to listen for some rhyming words. Listen out for some rhyming words. I'm going to a party, said Posy the pig. And it says, Sid Pig's party. This Saturday at seven o'clock. Please come, Posy, and dance to the poppy band, Mig. I'll look like a pop star if I put on a wig, said the pig. And you can see in the speech bubble, the pig, Posy the pig is saying, I'll put on a wig. The pink wig didn't fit. It was too big. This wig is too big, said Posy. Can you tell me the two rhyming words there? Wig and big. Well done. Now if I hold that to the screen, I wonder if you can read the rhyming words and point to them. Wig and big. Big wig and big, big wig and big. I'm sure I'll find my, my green wig if I dig and dig. The party was held in Sid Pig's rig. I love the wig, Posy. Hello, Sid. Oh, it looks like Posy's found her green wig. For tea, Posy ate a big, ripe fig. 
big and fig. Can you point to those words? Big and fig. Big and fig. Big and fig. After tea, all the pigs danced to a band called Mig. Then Posy won a prize for the best wig and she did a little jig. A little dance. He's saying your wig is the best. Going to read that page again and listen for those rhyming words. Then Posy won a prize for the best wig. She did a little jig. Wig and jig. Wow, said Posy, what a super gig. And that's what she's saying here. Wow, what a super gig. I think she's having a little dream about her dancing at the party. So lots of words there rhyming with pig. Pig, pig, wig, dig, fig, lots and lots of rhyming words. Now, I've got a box here with some little balls in and they've all got some words on. And I'm going to pick out a word and I would like you to think of a rhyming word, okay? And when you've thought of that rhyming word, I would like you to write it down in your workbook. So, I'm going to shake them up, <gasps> shake them up, oh, and I'm going to throw one up in the air and catch it, and it says fox, fox. Can you think of a word that rhymes with fox? Pause the video while you write the word that rhymes with fox. Here's another one. If you can read it, et, vet. Can you think of a word that rhymes with vet and write it in your book? Here's the next one. Ooh, that one nearly ran away. This one. Can you read the word? I think we all know a word that rhymes with cat, don't we? Can you write it in your book? And don't forget to pause the video to give yourself plenty of time to write it. And I'm going to shake another one. Woo! This one. Hop, hop. Hop and think of a rhyming word and write it in your book. Hop and Here's the next one. Do you want to put your hand in and get one of them? <laughs> Are we ready this one? Big. Big and oh you should know this one because I was or oh, lots of our lots of the words in our story rhymed with big. Big and Write it in your book. Got two more. I'm going to juggle them up in the air. Which one am I going to catch and read first? This one. Frog. 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 Think of a word that rhymes with frog and write it in your book. Frog. And the last one. Ten. ten. Can you think of a word that rhymes with ten? And you know what to do. Write it in your book. Ten. I think you might have been super rhymers today, boys and girls. Well done. I hope you have a lovely day. There's one last word I would like you to think about. 
And it is a word that rhymes with Harry. Can you think of a word that rhymes with Harry? Harry and... I wonder what you said. Enjoy your day, boys and girls. And to the adults listening, if you did manage to play the twister game with the tricky words the other day, you could maybe do the same with some rhyming words as well. So write lots of rhyming words on pieces of paper or on a large sheet. Put them all over the floor. And if you say a word, then the, your child has to go and find a word that rhymes with it. Lots of fun with your rhyming words, boys and girls. So have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.